In planning rows, it's not always the biggest projects that grab the headlines. As one homeowner in Devon found, a simple lick of paint can bring the council down on you like a ton of mildly discoloured bricks. The sleepy village of Kenford in Devon is home to many chocolate box cottages. Anne Kennedy owns a pink one. We moved down here around about 2000 and we liked the pink cottage and that was one of the main reasons why we bought the cottage because we'd actually come from another pink cottage which I missed a great deal. Being a bit of a pink house devotee, Anne wanted to keep hers in tip-top condition and 13 years after moving in, she decided to give it a new coat of paint. It was lovely to see it looking all bright and new again but I'm afraid my euphoria didn't last very long. It seemed that not everyone in Kemford appreciated Anne's pink abode. The local council felt the shade she'd used was just too, uh, well, pink. Somebody knocked on the door, handed me a letter to say that Timbridge Council said it wasn't the right colour. Thought it was a wind-up, but then realised that no, it wasn't, and they were absolutely serious. How? they could tell it wasn't the right shade of pink is beyond me because it was still wet. Tainbridge Council's problem was that Anne's rose-tinted retreat is Grade 2 listed, and that means any alterations require special listed building consent. As I understand it, even with a listed building, you don't need planning permission if you're repainting the house, and we were repainting it the same colour. Anne appealed the council's decision, but they were adamant the colour must change. But choosing the right hue proved problematic, even for the professionals. There's lots of pinks in the world today. If you look in a colour chart, I mean, I could bore you with it, with lots of different colours. The council came up with a colour which was a lighter colour than the one we'd had on the walls before. Plum cherry or cherry plum, I think and the council were quite happy with that. But then they chose it, so they should be. The decorating dilemma was solved, and the council were finally happy with Anne's cherry plum pink house. I think the council could have handled it better. And it's been an absolute waste of their time and mine for a couple of shades of paint, because that's all that the difference is, because it's still pink. 